everybody, welcome back to the new episode of Lost Down of Survival. Today we return to boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen, guys, I'm CFA. Have a fantastic day of the most amazing variety. Today we've been raided. We got a revenge raid lined up. We are making our way over to the gas station with this generator to try and upgrade our chopper. And on top of it all, boom! What you guys are seeing right here and right now was posted earlier today with the caption Holidays and LDOE are continuing. Presents and adventures lie ahead. Are you ready for the second parts of the Christmas event in Last Day on Earth? AKA confirmation that another part of the Christmas update is coming. As we know, the cipher, which was actually going to be correlating to the next update, which should be coming around this week, given the fact that the cipher was revealed over pretty much, I think it was last Friday. Usually after a cipher is revealed, we get an update within the very near future and that cypher revealed three things number one the abandoned camp which we've been seeing teased number two a new type of weapon most likely to be the uzi and number three something new going down at the snowy racetrack so it appears that that new thing might be the second part of the christmas event in ldoe and what will that new thing contain exactly well i think this video is giving us a very good look at that because i do think the area we're at actually very much so resembles the snowy racetrack there's that kind of like central area with all the presents and zombies though which looks like it might be a different area so maybe there's gonna actually be a new type of area added at some point as well but let's go ahead pause the video and break a couple of things down boom what you guys are seeing here is the big thing that is still to come and most likely will be very very fun when the update does come and that is the santa claus zombie because currently we have not seen such a zombie this zombie does not quite yet exist so obviously there is still more christmas up date content to come not just after they have literally confirmed it today but also as I was saying, there was a, uh, whatchamacallit, like, this guy over here, which is, I mean, given the fact that he's Santa Claus, probably going to be, like, the boss zombie of this entire event, hopefully dropping us some very good goods, and as you can see, he appears to be a pretty big fella, although I can't tell because we don't usually look at things from this angle, I don't know if that's, like, just the usual size of, like, a floater bloater or a frozen bloater, like, he's definitely bigger, he thick, boy, he thick, but... As you guys can see, that is most likely going to be one of the big things is some sort of a boss battle encompassing him. And as we know that this update was going to add new stuff at the snowy racetrack. So potentially this will be that, although the snowy racetrack didn't have this many trees. So maybe this will be coming in like a new type of area, new type of event as well, like I'm saying. And on top of that, boom, what we are seeing here is that little central Christmas present area that I was talking about where, well, there's a whole ton of jolly holly cheer and us popping open some sort of a chest with hopefully some good stuff so those are kind of the big takeaways from this video that we got that are pretty much pointing towards some very nifty christmas update content yet to come that i cannot wait to go ahead and get my hands on and hopefully you guys cannot wait to go ahead and get your hands on as well so from what we have seen from all this type of jazz i would love to hear from y'all regarding what you think regarding the second spot of the christmas update what you think will be included type of prizes we might be able to expect and on top of it how else and how hyped you are for the rest of this update because from what that cypher was saying this update does appear like it's going to be a little bit of a doozy and that is something that i'm looking forward to because the holiday season is here it's near and we're going to be having a whole ton of fun with that but that's going to start wrapping up for this information that we got votes today so go and let me know like i'm saying what y'all think of it in that comment section down below and reminder that that comment is what you're one third of the way it's the week of five dollar at two such place store gift card giveaway all you gotta do as well is make Make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe. That'll let you out know today's video. Y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on Earth video. When Saturday rolls around, we'll pick a random video for the past week. Pick a random comment from that random video. And that we will widow for the week. And we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same Saturday as well. So make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of last on Earth information. Such as that which we are sharing today. Making sure to keep y'all in that wonderful thing known as the loop. Spreading some shotgun rain all throughout the way as well, of course course of course oh sent that head flying but not just that we we're also breaking down the information such as what we did today bringing in other information that has been revealed in the past tying it all together and seeing what we can take away about the wonderful future especially with this update that we are to expect which is looking like given the fact it's going to have a new event a new weapon and what appears to be a, some pretty nice holiday cheer in the form of that event it looks like it's going to be a pretty formidable update and i cannot wait to get my hands on it's so like i'm saying we're going to be staying up to date with the info regarding 
barring that, keeping y'all in the loop, breaking down that info. And of course, as soon as the update does come out, we're going to be checking it out to its fullest extent, showing off anything and everything that it has added, showing what you can expect, how to be prepared, what the rewards are that you can expect. And for some of those more rare rewards, we're going to be going balls to the wall. And even should there be some dollar redos involved to potentially show off some of that stuff, I'm more than willing to drop some of my moolah and make my wallet cry just a little bit if it means that you guys could then see if okay maybe it's worth it maybe it's not worth it because i'd much rather take an l than you guys have to take one so i'm happy to take an l if it helps y'all to take a dub down the line so that's the game plan around that and on top of it all that notification bell is a great way to stay up to date with every single video going up that y'all can enter on for that weekly giveaway and on top of it all all the other dopes for all the games going up on the channel as well and that super dope video that dropped today if you guys did not have a chance to give that bad boy a look see doodle quite yet me and bay me and my girlfriend for part of the 600k subscriber celebration and because it was my birthday woo, birthday birthday we decided to go ahead and hop into some brawl stars actually a game that a lot of you guys were suggesting we hop into we actually do we started doing like really good we got that wombo combo tag team going on we were having a super fun time with it and uh, that video was actually hilarious and i don't want to spoil how we did but we actually did surprisingly well i think you guys are gonna be proud of us so i think that might be an awesome one if you guys like brawl stars if you guys just want to see me and bay there's a face cam in there as well so i think it's just like the best of a whole ton of worlds and a really awesome video and i i think you guys will like it you know so let me know if you guys might want to be seeing more of that type of stuff over in that video as well by hitting that like button and doing them types of shenanigans but oy vey we gotta deal with this flota blota over here luckily we brought just enough weaponry in the form of ak thunder shotgun rain and pistol drizzle to bring these dudes down to their knees and have them surrender and now zen however oh i don't i don't know why i ran back there we dropped off the generator i i'm so used to having more generators that generator though we were able to bring since we did have a leftover generator that's i didn't want to go ahead and dish on out but let's go and dish on in there's some of these other things we got a bunch of chopper gas tanks as you can recall from the last time we did the bunker we got really lucky actually with that which was pretty nifty over there we got all not all but a decent amount of aluminium to turn in and a very decent amount of steel to toss in as well which should be leading to quite a few potential upgrades for us how many are we talking 10 diaz jeshin mechanics boxes for us to play around with and make some magic happen so without further ado let's go ahead let's start popping these puppies open and let's freaking go we getting tons of police upgrades up in here oh mama okay hold on how close are we getting to having this but oh dude that police bike is getting open there if we could just get a couple of more oh man dude if our luck is good we might be able to max out our police bike level super super soon i think we're one or two blueprints away oh baby military motorcycle doing all right we got a couple of repair kits too but all in all very nice haul but uh, on top of that as i did say we got a raid in store so i'm gonna go we gotta go and actually prepare for that raid as you guys saw from our motorcycle we do have two c4 at our disposal that i do want to go ahead and make use of which we definitely will be because i did manage to go ahead and scrounge up some more bless up baby i know i know so we managed to have some of this ready to go and we got a base we got to break into so i will go and meet y'all back at base as we become prepared for what is to come and we are prepared for what is to come as you guys can see we got two pistols over here we gotta go ahead and om nom nom into some of that food get rid of the cans i'm sorry mr tin cans maybe another day and craft up all of this hatchetry along with some of those iron hatchets we got ready to go i'm only gonna be bringing three iron hatchets because we should have more available to us from our inbox it should push come to shove so we have that and god dang it i forgot the nails and with some nails actually in our inventory we should be able to get some iron hatchets up in our inventory as long as my computer doesn't have a nuclear sized meltdown over here that's been happening a decent amount lately man my computer i think it's on life support it happens it has these like random stretches where it's like oh oh it's making star think he might need a new one and i'm like please baby don't do this to me that's not who i'm looking for because i actually went ahead and we got the raiders to talk to alo alo and we'll just see what these guys are kind of in need of because we might be able to knock out some quests along the way as well and hopefully Hopefully we'll even be able to get like a chopper event or some kind of dope event to stop by on the way over to the raid or even after the raid as well i wasn't able to find much in terms of research on today's raid which was like player a bunch of numbers or something or other and 
Oy vey. I wish that I waited to craft those iron hatches. Well, the good news is if we pull iron hatches from our inbox too, that will actually count for that as well. So let's just go ahead, do a systems check, make sure that all is good. And we got 2C4, we got plenty of hatches. We got plenty of pistol drizzle, fully modern, fully silenced. I will talk to y'all over at the raid. All right, player 6855, you are today's lucky victim. I mean, lucky winner of which we will be raiding. What type of a base do we have in store for us today? It actually appears that we're doing a double base raid. He kind of has uh, two houses over here instead of just one. And it appears we might not have even needed C4 for today's raid, so. Okay, okay. Well, let's just go and do a little bit of patrol around these parts and we will try to take things from there. I think that is our best game plan because I, it doesn't even look like there's any like stone sections to this base or anything. I think it is just flat out 100% unadulterated wood. Although here is his most protected portion. This is the level two that we got to deal with. So why don't we go and uh, make our entrance into here. And oh, all the way, not all the way, by the way, I'm just thinking the ways for some reason. Hey, that's freaking go, we broke. Okay, so I know this is only wood, but guys, the reason that I'm hype is check out the way that we broke in. Yeah, yeah, you guys know what this means. This means that as long as we save that chest for last, we are in prime position to capitalize on the facts that no one will be able to get into here. That is right. We'll be able to play some mind games with the big one, given the situation that we are within. And I kind of want to explore the rest of what this base has to offer. Kind of see where these different doorways take us. There we go. Okay, this is a level one wall. Bless up. That's going to make a little bit less noise. I don't mind blowing through our level one hatchets or anything. And it appears that it doesn't really lead to much. Here, it looks like it might be leading to something level two oriented. So let's see if there's maybe something decent over in this room. And God dang it, Bobby. Oh, I can't believe that that actually just happened. That is evil. All right, well, if we're really desperate and if we have some hatchets left over, we could try and make a break for that over there. Uh, it appears that we should be able to continue breaking into this room, though, so I'm just kind of trying to get a little bit of an idea, a little bit of a plan around how to commence today's raid. And ooh, 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 oh, oh. Okay, hold on. So he's got some stone, which makes me think that maybe this will be where the goods are. Maybe he was starting to build up something stone oriented. God dang it. No. Oh, I know what it is. So this is like the beginner's base, except he's built it out a little bit. Cause you guys see, that's kind of like a little three by three room right there. That's a little expansion. He hasn't really done much with it though, unfortunately for us, but we might be able to actually break into that area with just like some wooden walls. Let's continue using our hatchets to get through this and oy vey, no. Okay. Yeah. I think mm, if we want that one chest, we're gonna need to pull out an iron hatchet. Here's the thing. I'm gonna save everything in here for later because there is still this entire other area of his base that might also have loot. So I'm gonna wait to get those iron hatchets for which we gotta use to, for a variety of things. But uh, long story short, the reason I'm saving that area is because we'll be able to pretty much loot all of that relatively stress-free because of that chest glitch because the big one will teleport to us every once in a while but that's pretty much all that we need to worry about so long as, as long as we kind of keep on running back and forth there's actually not a lot to worry about so we should be able to have a pretty full complete and comprehensible raid on our hands today which is always a good thing hopefully somewhere within there's actually some decent loot because at some point this is also a revenge raid so we do need to get our stuff back which is a pretty big thing thing for me and how big is this like I, okay we'll go ahead and break through this over here it looks like this is a level one area is it like a huge level one area like what's the shindig here i'm blowing through okay this is this is his extended doggy pen so we've pretty much broken into all that this base has to offer and from what i can tell you guys the only rooms that really appear to matter would be this one and this one and maybe you never know these things might have decent stuff too so i might try and do some shenanigans with that as well and i really wish dude i wish we could chop down the radio i don't get why the radio isn't choppable or like movable like it's furniture you told me i couldn't move that like i've moved couches i've helped people move into their new houses. You're telling me? Me, as a post-apocalyptic survivor, I can't move no goddamn couch? Nah, bro. I should be able to move a couch. But let's go. Mm, did we? Mm, 
Yeah, I suppose. Let's start breaking and seeing what this... Uh, uh, the thing is, I, I kind of want to leave those chests for last because these are going to be the closest to here, right? So I think it'll be ideal for us to leave these for last and kind of break the stuff that's further away first. Although, I guess nothing really is too far away because we'll be able to break in. Sorry, right, I'm going to grab those hatchets. And with two more hatchets or two on name, hopefully that will be enough for what we are trying to do over here. But also want to remind you all that if you haven't already, link near the top of the description for y'all to go ahead and cop some Star Snipe merch and some Shotgun Rain coffee and mugs. If you haven't already, pretty awesome way of enjoying some tea and some coffee and some warm hot cocoa beverages like that in the middle of this wonderful holiday season. And also showing some support for the channel, supporting the channel while getting something dope in return. Turn to sponsor and mind y'all that that does exist but hokey dokey hunky dory into the rest of the base we go get out of here you freaking wall ah uh, yeah so just note to you guys i literally broke through the worst wall imaginable do not break that wall literally anywhere else will be okay do not break that wall that wall is poopy what do we have over here anything good is this where they get i mean I, I, atv wheels are okay we could trade those in which is always kind of like decent in my eyes, in my opinion, we do also have these things we could break into, although I might as well just kind of, mm, eh, eh. I, I think we're going to break through these chests first because also the thing about these chests is, is that, well, we probably have more decisions to make regarding these because there might, let's freaking go, we got our AK back. But there might actually be like, you know, kind of decent stuff within these. So that's kind of what I'm just trying to uh, future proof a little bit. We should have some zombies running our way. Luckily, we got plenty of pistol drizzle to blow through these dudes and bring death to them. Till death do you part. Well, guess what? Death be parting you right now. I think there's a couple of big boys which should be running up on us. I just wanted to go and toss in a little bit of that gas. Get that out of here. I wish you could double click from the chopper. That would be so convenient. Hello, toxic abomination. Goodbye to you. Okay, I'll start separating. Get a little bit of separation from you. Do we have a toxic abomination quest from those raiders, by the way? We might, in which case that might actually be kind of nifty. Let's take out the abomination. Take out the blota, and we're good to go over on that front and onwards to victory we go although i just don't know how sweet today's victory is going to be unless one of these chests truly holds a miracle we did also bring some agua some water so at least we got that popping for us i stole this dude's carrots hope that's cool you had some quality carrots and listen i'm, I'm a carrot connoisseur myself i just had to they're they just so fine i had to sample your hospitality you know uh, looks like honestly I might just steal a good amount of wood and bring that back to base for base repairs and more tools down the line because wowzers the stuff is the goods they are not very good no 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 oh baby all right two more iron hatchets hopefully that'll be enough Ooh, okay at least we got a pistol out of this and remember the nice thing and we did manage to raid a chopper <laughs> I could get behind that I don't know why that dude built up a chopper though if like there's already one in progress over there. Kind of took the L on that one, my boy -o. But, ah, there's just not a lot of good stuff to take, man. That's the thing. Oy vey, hold on. We got to go and deal with these dudes over here. But, mm, hopefully the two hatchets is enough for what we're trying to do here as well. Because we still have a good amount of chests to break into. And I don't want to keep on pulling out those hatchets. Because in which, if I knew that, I would have definitely brought more hatchets along. Because I want to save those hatchets in my inbox for, like, actual emergencies. And this base... It doesn't look like it's emergency worthy at the moment. I'm sorry base to insult you like that, but it's the truth. I haven't seen anything too fan freaking tastic from y'all. We've seen some fan freaking tastic stuff today, though. Do not get me wrong, man. That look, that tease at the second half of the Christmas event, specifically that Christmas Santa Claus boss. That's got me a little bit feisty, a little bit excited. Let's get my grubby little fingers on that. But I mean, other than that, man, I just can't wait to hear what y'all got to say about it. We got some dope stuff coming. You know what else I can't wait to hear from y'all? Hopefully, you guys have an absolutely fan freaking fantastic day that only gets better from here on out. That is probably what would make me most happy in this entire universe. Hopefully, whether it be me or honestly anything else, if there could be a smile brought to your face, that would be absolutely dope. Especially if the smiles only keep on coming and only keep on becoming more and more plentiful. But all right, we got to put this stuff away because the time is about to be here. It's about to be near. And how many more hatchets? we got yeah i think we'll be good in terms of hatchets but the time is near for that dude to show up so i want to put away the valuables we got here right 
I'll leave the pistol with us. That'll be kind of decent. Or right, I'll put away the pistol we looted. In terms of other stuff, though, like, take your carrots, bro. Take the camera. This is what we got. We really don't have a lot so far. So, in case the going does get a little bit hectic, we should, out of the chest we've broken so far, kind of steal what we want so far and then just kind of, like, swap it out as needed. The best things, honestly, man, can't go wrong with wood. I'll happily ditch it. But just out of the other stuff that we've seen, it's just not a lot. Like, I'll grab a stack of wood or a stack of stone so that way with the wood... I could like recuperate the axes I had to invest into this raid, but this appears to be a raid that's just kind of netting us a lot of raw resources. And oh, oh, there's our aluminum back. Uh, but yeah, the time is about to be near. It's about to be nigh. Let's go and soften up all of these bad boys. We'll see what each of these has. We're about to break into that hundred threshold. The time is here. The time is near. Big one's gonna be coming aloof. He's gonna be coming a foot. And I'm just trying to see what we got over here. Oh, actually, a little bit of. Oh no 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 no. Okay. Hello, hello, big one. Hi, do you do? Don't hit me. Don't hurt me, please. Please, thank you. All right. Let's go and get him stuck within there. Hello, toxic abomination. Oh my God, it's the twins. Let's take out these twinsies. No, that wasn't the twins this time. He's about to teleport to us. When he does, we're gonna heal. We're going to run with little baby. Just kidding. Maybe like little baby Zoidberg. Uh, did I grab... Okay, I, I grabbed the iron. We'll go see what we have within this one over here. Hey, a little bit more iron too. I'll take some iron. Oh, and that's the thing too. We can actually play some games with the big one. And as long as he's like running and trying to come to us... Whoop, 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 whoop. Never mind. I lied. I lied. Sorry for the lies. And that's how it works sometimes. We're like, I think he has to swing. I think that's what keeps him from like teleporting. You just need him to swing on you. Uh, but we have one more chest to break into. Then we got this chest. So what we're going to do to, I think, break into is that final chest, right? Is uh, Oive. He's he's going to be swinging. He's swinging a lot here. Big one, please don't swing so much. There we go. Okay, it's got like some semi-decent stuff, man. The big one is a feisty one over here. Uh, just kind of take all that we can. All right, I'm just worried. That was a lot of hits, so he might be doing a lot of damage here in a second. We'll go and get one swing. Whoop, 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 whoop. He's already doing 45 damage. He's actually getting pretty bad pretty fast. Okay, so he's going to teleport to us. We definitely got to heal. I don't want to blow through too many medkits doing this because that's always something I'd prefer to save, you know? Whoop, 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 whoop. We want to teleport him to... Oh, he hasn't finished this. Oh, God dang it, Bobby. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Why don't we get him... I actually have a little bit of an idea. We're going to play some games with the big one to hopefully get him as far away as possible from... Get over here, buddy. Come on, buddy boy. Come on, buddy boy. Okay, yeah, 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 this is beautiful. This should buy us some very nice time. Let him swing over there. Then we're going to break through this. He's going to start running our way. And guess what? He's not going to be able to get to us in time. We are... Oh, this is actually where the goods were. Okay, okay, goodbye to that. Goodbye to that. Uh, One red ticket, sure thing. Goodbye, batteries. I'm getting the hell out of Dodge. And back at base, we will meet. <laughs> and having parked our way back home. There were no events that spawned in on the way back. I do apologize, lads and lassies, but we had a relatively successful raid of of course that last chest ended up being the best i know that we probably could have actually put something within there but listen i just thought that the big one was starting to do a lot of damage and when that starts happening you don't really want to linger too much and let's be honest we definitely grabbed pretty much the best stuff we got our stuff back we stole the pistol that there was we took a red ticket crate amongst other things but with that said with that done that's gonna start bringing an end to this episode of last day on earth survival that you guys did enjoy if you did let me know by that like button and saying so down below not to mention can't wait to see what y'all gotta say about the wonderfulness known as that christmas update and that santa claus boss that we will have within our fingers soon and hopefully some very nice christmas presents as well because i mean if we kill santa claus i'm just saying that dude's got like a workshop full of presents, technically speaking. So he better have some goddamn good loot. God dang it, Bobby. But can't wait to y'all got to say best of luck at the $25 iTunes slash Play Store gift card giveaway. Best of luck getting in the chopper gas tank and joining the chopper squadron. Best of luck bringing your pup. Getting the true friend perk. Loan up your own perks and skills. Not to mention find the very best blueprints and building up the very best attachments for the very best weapons that you got. Best of luck building up your base. Going on to the dopest of raids. Defeating all the bosses of the game has to throw at you. Getting past the multiplayer wall. Head most important of all. Having yourselves an absolutely fan fantastic time all throughout. Also, the good thing about that raid is that we managed to get back up to four skulls, which is ideal to maximize our opportunity at getting more free revenge rates down the line but that's gonna go ahead and do it for me thank you guys a whole ton for watching huh this was an awesome one and i'll talk to you next one see ya